Our study of logarithms and exponential functions would be amiss if we didn't talk about natural logs. Now natural logs are similar to your standard common log. The difference is that we have a different base. So natural logs are written and expressed with the form of ln for logarithm natural, a French term. ln is simply, so ln of x, is simply a standard log of x, except instead of being base 10, it is base e. So when we go to express it and find the exponent that would be associated here with, it's always talking about e to some power. Other than that, there's no difference of natural logs. All the same rules for associations, for solving, for simplifying and expanding have effect with natural logs as they do with the common log. So let's get a little bit of practice working with natural log and then move on out of the study here into another area of Algebra 2. So solving equations with natural logs are, we're going to practice with these ones. We have 4 times the natural log of x equals negative 2. So going through and working on this we're simply going to solve for x using the same patterns we did before. First step, we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 4. And we come out with the natural log of x equals a negative 1 half. Then, in order to find x, we're going to raise, use the definition of logarithms, and have x equals e to the negative 1 half power. Now, calculating that, we come out with x being approximately equal to 0 0.607. Next one, 2 times the natural log of the quantity 3x minus 4 equals 7. So we're going to go through the same process. We're going to divide by 2, so natural log of 3x minus 4 equals 7 halves raise both sides to that power so we have 3x minus 4 equals e to the 3.5 power 7 halves converts to 3.5 now solve for x we'll add 4 so 3x equals 4 plus e to the 3.5 power divide by 3 so x equals 4 thirds plus e to the 3 halves I'm oh, sorry, 3.5 thirds. Now going through and computing that value, we will come up with x being approximately equal to 12.372. So as you can see, we're going through the same process. Now what happens when we have a split log like what you see here? Apply your properties of logarithms so when we have addition that interprets out as multiplication so we have the natural log of 4x equals 2 e squared equals 4x using reflexive property we'll have x equals e squared over 4 so x is approximately equal to the value 1.847 Last one, 3 times the natural log of e to the 2x equals 12. And for our last one here, we have 3 times the natural log of e to the 2x equals 12. And with this, we're going to work with a property that has not been discussed previously in these videos, but does hold true for all logs. First, we're going to divide both sides by 3. So we have the natural log of e to the 2x equals 12. Oh, sorry, get rid of that, equals 4, divided by 3. Now, thinking about this, when we have natural log of e to some power equals a number, in order to solve, we're going to raise e to that power, and we're going to end up with e to the 2x equals e to the 4th. Anytime you raise you're taking the natural log of something raised to a power that is that same base. 
So we have base e, and then we're taking the natural log of e to some power. It simply becomes 1. And all we have to do, we can ignore the base altogether and just say our exponent equals the other side of the answer line. So now we just have 2x equals 4. Dividing by 2, we end up with x equals 2. So a little bit of a new property there, but applies the same way that others have. Now, these have all been examples of solving lo natural log w in logarithmic form. How can we use the natural log to help us solve equations that are e to, to powers? So we have 4e to the x equals 10. We're going to start by isolating our group, the exponents. So we have dividing by 4 on each side. We come out with e to the x equals 2.5. Then we apply our principles of logarithms. So we have an unknown exponent. That means that log, nat, natural log, so log base e, of 2.5 has to equal x. Running this through the calculator, we come out with x is approximately equal to 0 0.916. Continues on from there, it is an irrational answer, but we can get a decimal approximation. Now, applying the same thing to the other side, we already have our base and exponents isolated, so we're simply going to say the natural log of 2 has to equal x minus 4. So, Solving for x now, we add 4 to both sides. 4 plus the natural log of 2 equals x. So x is approximately equal to the value 4.693. So as you can see, solving logarithms or natural logs is the same as using exponential rules and properties for solving common base or alternate base logarithms. Nothing different here, just need an introduction to what it is. You'll find natural logs appearing quite commonly as you move into engineering, science, and finance fields. So being able to use them and identify them is helpful.